Finally, <clears throat> just reviewing how different types of solid have different properties, which of course all stems back to the interparticle forces. So which one of the following properties least characteristic of substances composed of small covalently bonded molecules? Well, small covalently bonded molecules are going to have weak IMFs, which means they have low melting points and low boiling points. The molecules can't float around carrying charge. So there's no charge mobility. They might be polar, but they're not charged. So therefore, as you cannot move charge around, they're not going to conduct electricity, which means that regardless of whether they are solid or liquid state, they're not going to conduct it. So therefore, we're left with which of these is least characteristic weak bonds. Well, they have, of course, weak intermolecular forces, but the bonds within the molecule are covalent bonds, which are nice and strong. So this is least characteristic. They don't have weak bonds. They have weak intermolecular forces. Same type of question asking about metals. Well, metals have strong intermolecular forces, metallic bonds, so they have high melting and high boiling points. The C of electron model is what we use for metals, so the electrons can flow freely within that C. Thus, you've got charge mobility, which makes them both good conductors, solid, and when molten. OK, so both of those are true. So therefore, we now left with the game C, brittleness. Are metals brittle? No. Metals are nice and ductile and malleable because of the elastic nature of the electron C. Finally, ionic compounds. Well, ionic compounds have very strong intermolecular forces, so high melting point, high boiling point. Their conduction of an ionic compound is due to the ions moving, the cations moving and the anions moving. They can do this when it's a liquid, but of course in a solid, those cations and anions are held together so tightly in that lattice they can't move. So that means that the ionic compounds are really poor conductors when solid, but actually pretty good conductors when molten. So E looks pretty good for the wrong answer. But let's think about brittleness, ironic compounds brittle. And the answer is, yes, they are. They've got those strong IMFs, those strong intermolecular forces, ionic bonds that are holding them together really tightly. So therefore, you can't stretch them. The best you can do is break them. In other words, they are brittle, because if you hit them hard enough, they will shatter.